This is Twit. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Matt Pruitt, and hey, welcome to Hands on Tech. Yes, Hands on Tech is back here at Twit. Hope y'all doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. Today, I wanted to share a bit of information about some earbuds that I received from the folks at Buyer Dynamic. And I got to tell you, I'm a bit surprised. But because this is Twit TV, and I know you loyal Twit fans are quite into your tech specs, I'm going to go ahead and get the tech specs out of the way. OK, I'm sure you want to know. First off, these are just good old fashioned earbuds. You're going to get a frequency response of 10 hertz up to 28 kilohertz. Pretty standard. You're going to get about 11 and a half hours uh, talk time on these or listening time on these. They charge up in about an hour and a half. They charge via USB-C, not that old school micro USB stuff that people still tend to do for some reason. I'm not going to go there. But yeah, they, they, they charge up via USB-C. They have an IPX4 rating, so you can get splash resistance, splash water resistance on these. So you don't have to worry about trying to go swimming on swimming in these because they are not for that. Now, they also mentioned with that IPX rating, these are good for working out in. I did not work out in these yet, so I can't say they have the Ant Pruitt approved pass the sweat test. Not just yet, but maybe later when I get a little bit more time. Uh, yeah, but these are interesting headphones or earbuds, if you will, and they sound okay. Now, what is the rub on these? When, it, when they reached out to me about them, they, uh, they said, hey, Aunt, look, these are not the, 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 the earbuds for the tech nerds or the tech elite, if you will. And I said, okay, fine. That, that's, Everybody out there is not trying to buy the best of the best when it comes to consumer technology, but there is a place for these earbuds. And I got to say, I agree. So let's take a look at these. We'll switch down to my little overhead camera here. We have there there. When someone asked about these prior to me doing this demo, because I teased that this was going to be coming up, they say, oh, are these wireless? I say, well, they're wireless ish. <laughs> wireless ish because they come with this interesting little collar here and some folks don't necessarily care for the collar but i gotta tell you there is a place for that looking closer at this collar you get a little power button here the on off button is it's sort of hidden but it's you can feel it just enough but yet it's not intrusive and sort of sticking out getting in the way i like that touch it's a great design by this interesting german company uh the led that lets you know that it's turned on is on this side i I wish there was a better placement for that because you can barely see it when I fire them up, but it is right here on the right hand side. The other side of the collar is pretty standard. It's just the more of the uh, biodynamic active noise canceling branding on here. And then there's one more little remote control on the right earbud that allows you to, to do a little bit of playback far as skipping to the next track or going back or changing your volume up and down or also accepting phone calls. Now, again, from a tech spec, tech spec standpoint, the, they said in, in, this, in the list that the microphone is an omnidirectional microphone. And for folks here at Twit, we can't stand to hear that phrase when talking about microphones. We want something that's going to be uh, uh, that's going to have you be on axis so you don't pick up all of the ambient noise around you. You get better quality. Well, with it being omnidirectional, it still sounded pretty good. I tested it out on a few phone calls, just walking around outside at the track or what have you. And everybody on the phone call said, yeah, you sound fine. We don't hear a, bo a bunch of noise. We even were, were in a, a bit of wind and it still sounded OK. So I got to give them credit for that. Next up, let's talk about this little bar here. Uh, I know some people don't like these. Well, not bar collar. <laughs> it still feels like a little bar. I know some people don't like these collars, but these things, they do have a place. OK, so twit folks, I'm going to lick you right now, right now. OK, so these headphones are for the people that that can particularly use them. Let's think about our fine delivery folks. 
someone, you know, working for Amazon, UPS or what have you. And they're just in a neighborhood delivering packages and they got a handful of packages and they're not going to drive. They can just walk down the street dropping off the packages. So they get to one house and they set the box down and do the little scan and whatnot and boop, an earbud falls out. Oh my goodness. So now you got to look around for this earbud on the ground or on the porch or on the deck. Oh crap. It fell through the deck. We got a problem. Well, with this little collar, that's not an issue. If it pops out of your ear, it's, it's still there. Uh, I think this is a great application for people that are on the go and, and you get a little bit of peace of mind saying, you know what? I can be on the go and they're going to always be right there for me. I battled with it momentarily, if you will, because it, it felt a little hot to me. But I think that was just all in my head, because as soon as I pull this thing off, this thing does not feel warm in your hands. But just having something around my neck triggered something in me that says, you know, yeah, it's a little hot out here. No, it, it wasn't. It's just all in my head. I think this is going to work quite well from a sound design on this. OK, because that does matter. Uh, I'm not going to say these are the best sounding earbuds, but they do sound pretty good because, again, these are not the upper echelon uh, of earbuds. They have a bit of a profile that is a little more bass heavy. The high end of, this, of the spectrum is not quite there yet. The mid end, the middle, the middle end of the spectrum is still yeah, not quite there either. But. They do allow you to connect these to their mobile app, the My Bird app. It's a pretty easy app to use, and it has built-in equal equalizer options where you can set up profiles that are going to work best for your ears. So again, not the best of the best, but I wouldn't turn these down either. Now, the main thing, the cost. Well, you can get these online at the Buyer Dynamic website. We'll probably have a link or more than likely an affiliate link in our show description. You can get these for 149 bucks. Not a bad price, right? So you're going to get a decent set of earbuds that's going to have multiple options for earbud tits to, to fit whatever ear size you have. Uh, they're convenient and they're easy to just keep on your neck with this collar strap. They're going to sound good. You're going to take calls. You can fast forward without having to figure out a, a gesture or things like that. Just literally hit the button on the collar. Easy to use and it's going to be good to go. All right. So check them out. We'll have the, again, the links here in our show notes. All right. That's going to do it for today's show here on uh, Hands On Tech. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. Thank you to my man, Mr. Burke, over here in the booth, helping me look and sound good here in our wonderful Twitch studio, sponsored by the fine folks at ACI. Hey, safely create and dominate, and I shall see you next time. Take care. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.